Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to talk about a hammock task. So what I've got on the screen is three examples of hammock tasks. Now, in this little text box, I've put a description of what a hammock task is. Basically, it has no set duration. The duration of a hammock task is derived from the start of another unrelated task. So we're not talking about links here and the end of a second unrelated task. So this example here, that's the hammock task. The start of the hammock task is derived by the start of task B, and the end of it is derived by the end of task C. Same on that one. And the one at the bottom is slightly different in the fact that the hammock is in the middle, and that's more of a classic way of doing it. So we don't know how long this is going to be, but it's going to be the length between these two tasks. Now that could be the start and end of the project, or it could be the start and end of a particular phase of the project. This is quite often used to um, show cuts, or in this example, I've called this file scaffolding. How long does the scaffolding have to be up for? Don't know, depends how long the job starts. Uh, how long the job is so how long does it take from the start of this task to the finish of that task whatever that is that is a length of time the scaffolding would have to be in place just an example if you're not into scaffolding obviously that doesn't make any sense whatsoever i'm not into scaffolding either but now what you have to do is use copy and paste special and paste link with these tasks so if i um, replicate these so if i just type my three sets of tasks task a task b task C. So if I do the top option, so if I'll, call ta I'll call that one hammock. So the start of the hammock is derived from the start of task B, let's say. So you click on to task B, start, control C, copy, and you click on to the hammock start and you can either right click or paste special is what you need, paste link. Okay. So that, so those two are now linked together. So I'm going to color those in yellow. And then you want the end date from task C, copy, copy, paste special, paste special, paste link. Okay. So those two are linked. So I'll just change those to a different color, blue, light blue in that one. So that's how you set the thing up. Now, when any of these task durations change, so if task B, the start duration changes the and the end duration changes, or either or, the hammock should react to it. So at the minute, they're all starting at the same, uh, on the same date. Now, in some versions of project, this automatically um, updates. It has a little bit of a delay, but if it doesn't update automatically on you, what you need to do is just close and reopen the file, which is what I'm going to do. I'll show you that in a second. And it will ask you to update links, and then you can do that. So let's change something. If I say this, well, let's say the end of the project is, or this task, it's not the end of the project. This task moves forward to next Friday. I don't want to have a link, so clicking OK to that, and then OK to that. So now the hammock task should move across and show that that distance and it is it does take a little bit of time so I'm just gonna save this and close it down and just open it up again so that'll just speed this bit up open scaffolding it should come up and say do you want to update links I say yes and then it should update the links and you can see the hammock task has gone across to the end of task C so that's that worked okay now if I come back down and do another example so I'll do the example where the uh, the hammock is in the middle, so I'll do task A, hammock, task B. So I can't have lowercase, it was my head in. So hammock, so this time the, the start of this task is going to drive that one. So I'll copy that and into this one, paste special. Paste link, okay. And I'll just color code those two again. This time they can be blue. And then the end of this task will dictate the end of that task. So if I copy that one, 
paste special onto this one paste link okay color those two a different color so those are the two linked ones I'll go for yellow again all right so the, the duration so at the moment uh, everything's on the same day so let's say the the start goes forward a week I don't want to link and the end of this set of tasks goes into next week say no link okay now the hammock should come across uh, move across and sit between these two so if I just save and close this down and then reopen it scaffolding yes I do want to update links and there you can see it's moved across sitting between them now the time you wait for this to do it automatically depends on your computer but sometimes it's just a, a couple of seconds of the times it's a minute or so so I rather I'd rather just close and reboot the thing to get it to do it automatically uh, update I'll click it and I'll force it to happen because I don't like to look at schedules that aren't accurate but that is how you set up a hammock task so I hope that has been of use to you and I'll see you in the next session